uh, from William, dearest Darth Clavin. There, there it is, right? <laughs> it all comes together. Everything comes together. It's a, a, a beautiful tapestry. As an author of crime fiction and having lived in Britain for many years, can you explain how British crime fiction is different from American crime fiction, you know, other than their funny accent? It is funny, isn't it? It's <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Uh, you know, it's almost the difference between men and women in a way. Most of the truly great uh, British crime writers, and there have been so many great British crime writers, many of them are cozy, what they call cozies in the business. Uh, Agatha Christie, uh, Marjorie Allingham, P.T. James, uh, Josephine Tay, who is absolutely, if you haven't discovered her yet, she is absolutely great. The, the great mystery writers, so many of the British ones are, are women, but that's not to say that there aren't men. It's just that the, they tend to be more intellectual. They're, they're, great, they're great mysteries, tend to be more intellectual. <clears throat> they tend to um, deal with community, which is something in Britain, you know, you think of the British, classic British mystery taking place in a village, uh, you know, with little cottages and the vicar is one of the suspects and there's all this, uh, all these people in this kind of closed society and they tend to be very beautifully observational, brilliantly written. I mean, I'm not a big Agatha Christie fan because I don't like cozy mysteries, but she's, she's brilliant. I can see how brilliant she is. And on the occasion when I'm in the mood for an Agatha Christie, I always do enjoy it. Our great mysteries, they're almost not mysteries. They're more, you almost have to call them crime fiction. Our great mystery and our great invention in the mystery world uh, is the tough guy novel. There's just no question about it. Our greatest writers are James M. Cain, Raymond Chandler, Dashiell Hammett. Even uh, today, uh, some of the, Dennis Lehane is terrific. Uh, you know, they're still in that, in that vein, and they are much more uh, masculine, much more violent, much more uh, independent. They are almost always about a man alone, you know, coming into a, a situation and solving the crime, basically shooting his way to the end of the crime. Now, all this is a big, big generalization. There are plenty of cozy uh, American writers, plenty of tough guy British writers, but I'm just saying when you think of what the British mystery is, it really is more on the, in the cozy vein, and when you think of what the American mystery is, you think more, you, my mind anyway, goes directly to the action tough guy um, story. Somebody once pointed out, and I cannot remember who it was, but somebody once pointed out that people who are conservatives and independents, people who want to do things on their own, like private eyes, because they're private, they don't exist in a uh, in an organization. If you look on TV, the private eye has almost ceased to exist because the left now runs Hollywood. It's almost all about organizations, the FBI, the police department, you know, it's al almost always about organizations. It may come back. These things happen in cycles. But the great detective stories are almost always about uh, uh, American detective stories are almost always about private eyes, guys who are on their own. It's just a just really interesting difference between the two. Again, all big generalizations, plenty of exceptions.